Welcome all my fellow Washington brethren and sister. I am your man and resident Washington football team fan, Luke. Thank you for joining me here on the Washington Football Report. Feels like Aladdin this morning. A whole new world. When you sign in players before they get to the end of their contract, when you can see the progress made, you can see that this is a guy that we want here long term. No need to wait. Get ahead of the curve. When you wait, that's when bad things happen. So Washington once again getting out in front of uh, 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 the curve essentially with bringing back a player that they perceive to be a part of the culture change and a part of the future in Washington. I talked about this yesterday when they uh, extended Jonathan Allen, culture guy, a guy that they see as a part of the solution, not the problem. I said, this is the first of many guys that Ron Rivera has targeted as Rivera guys that he's going to bring back. And I said, look for this to be happening over the next couple of years. Here's another example of it. Uh, tight ends coach Pete Hayner talked about Logan Thomas as a top seven tight end in this league. He's a complete player. I said, I don't know about that, coach, but I do see the promise. I do see the upside. And remember, Logan Thomas's first year as a starter last year was exceptional, exceeded all expectations and that's why today logan thomas woke up to brand new money a three-year extension he was on the last year of his contract signed a two-year deal with us last year uh blew every expectation we had for him out of the water i can't speak for you i wasn't expecting what we got a lot of you said hey this guy logan thomas he can play watch louis t you'll see and you were right i didn't think we were going to get what we got out of logan thomas last year not as a blocker, not as a pass catcher, not as a red zone threat. He checked off every single box. And because of it, he got broken off today. He deserves it. Don't know the specifics of the contract. We'll find that out a little bit later on down the line. But whatever it is, he deserves it. He played so well last year. And the expectation is that with Ryan Fitzpatrick, a guy that will give his tight ends an opportunity over the middle of the football field to go and get it with his frame, there should be more opportunities for Logan Thomas. Now, will he have as many receptions as he had last year? With all the talent that we have, with the ball having to be spread amongst them, I don't know if he'll replicate, you know, nearly 70 catches or over 70. I think he was somewhere in that neighborhood last year. I don't know if he'll replicate that. What I do know is I think his yards per catch average will be higher because it was rather low last year because there are a lot of underneath catches for Logan Thomas. Of course, with Alex Smith at quarterback, that's the assumption, but I'm, I feel good for Logan Thomas. I feel good for this team. I feel good as a member of the fan base because these are the types of moves that very competent organizations make. Logan Thomas is a guy that they've pegged as someone that they think they can continue to grow and build with, and he's a part of the culture. He does things the right way. Logan Thomas didn't miss any games last year. He barely missed any snaps last season. He was one of our highest usage rate players on the entire team. So this is a guy that they look at and they say, we love his durability. We love his toughness. We love his ability to do the things we ask him to do the way we ask him to do them. We like the growth we saw and we want to keep him here in Washington. Not going to wait till his contract runs out. Not going to wait for him to have 982 yards receiving this year and then try to talk turkey with him. We're going to get out in front of this thing and get him while the going is hot and this is a great move for all parties involved logan thomas hasn't really made any real money in the league yet this will probably be the first opportunity for him to do so so he's going to cash in washington's going to get themselves a stabilizing force at the tight end position it's a win-win for all parties involved and again it's nothing like waking up if you've ever had this experience then you know there's nothing like waking up to new money in your account nothing like new bread sitting there waiting on you hot fresh out the oven when you get out of your bed you open up your phone you look at your account Ta -ding! Woo, got some new money that's what logan thomas did agent hit him up this morning hey logan deal's done baby you're in there Gotta feel good, man. Ain't nothing like new bread first thing in the morning. So with that said, going to see you guys tonight. Don't forget, Washington Football Report live early this week.
going to be out of the office this week, so we're going to do it tonight. Big show, big, big, big show. I'm going to give you my five biggest things Washington has to do in order to have a successful season. Among other topics, we'll talk about the start of training camp. This is the start of the season, guys. I'm so excited. Can't you tell? Come join me tonight, 8.30 p, as we will have a monster show talking about the burgundy and gold. I am a Washington fan etched in burgundy and gold. My Washington spirit will never die. Washington spirit will never fold until we meet again. Hail to our beloved Washington football team, Logan Thomas. Three-year extension with the burgundy and gold. So now under contract for four years. Remember, had a deal, uh, a year left on his current deal. Adds three more years to that. Well-deserved after the year he turned in last year. They're projecting here. Hey, this is what he gave us last year. We expect him to get even better. That was his first year as a starter. They see the light at the end of the tunnel, and they understand we need to be on the other side of that thing before it gets too bright. So Washington making those shrewd moves, man. This is what the good teams do. A whole new world. Feels like a whole new world as a Washington football team fan. And I got to admit, kind of feels real damn good almost scary even get used to it though it's ron's plan ron's plan until next time you guys do me a huge solid leave a comment in the comment section about how you feel about this move right move wrong move did they do the right thing i think they did what says you also like button hit it and subscribe to the louis t network if you haven't already done so turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a thing we're gonna have a live show tonight don't want you to miss it turn on that notification bell till next time get off the bench get in the game and kick it with me your man louis t have a good one Louis T. Network.